Professor David here today. Hey, stop. Pay attention. Got another video for you today. Okay? Today's video, you always hear me talk about vision, breathing, and balance. Why do I always say vision, breathing, and balance? Why do I say go for the eyes? Kenny, come on in here. Let me bring Kenny in here, and I'm going to explain to you why. Why? I want you to, if you can, if the window of opportunity shows itself, I want you to go for the vision first. And why not punch him in the chest or some other spot? To another level. Why vision first? Because it'll give me a limb to work with. Okay? Gives me something to work with. Something to control his focus. Automatically, I know where his hands are going to be. If you get hit in the shin, you grab your shin. There's never been a time you struck your shin and you didn't reach down to grab your shin. If you get hit in the groin, there's no time that you didn't grab the groin. Not with one hand, but with both hands, okay? And it's the same thing when you had dust in your eye. You always brought your hand up immediately without thinking about it. It's an unconscious thought. Without thinking about it, you just start rubbing your eye to see if you can get the dust out of your eye. So I need that unconscious reaction. So if I went for his vision, his hands just shoot up. That allows me now, if, if I have room behind me, behind this guy, that allows me to move and work my way to the outside, to the back side of him. Now I can get behind him, maybe put a choke on, or get behind him, sweep out the leg from side to side, get behind him, shot the groin from behind, get behind him, move, grab, and boom, and pull a takedown. Okay? But now what if there's no room behind him? So now it's this. Now I don't want to go back there. So I'm forced now. To do a technique that I know that I'm not going to get two and three opportunities for. One shot deal, but I got to control his hands. Right now, he's intimidating me, what? but he's not pulling out any weapons or he don't have a weapon. When they go for the eyes, then now, look, the hands are there. Now, boom, I throw the hands into him. I shock low, get him to bend. Now I got an arm. I got a limb I could work with. I could put an arm bar on. I could put a finger lock on. For those of you who have that kind of confidence and technique from here, what? Now you can throw him into some kind of come along hole. Okay? But I can't do any of that nonsense if I don't have a limb to work with. I gotta have something to work with. And shocking the eyes, touching the eyes, Whack! Boom! Will give me that limb to work with. I'm not gonna get that limb from punching him in the chest. I'm not gonna get that limb, okay, from hitting him in the groin because his hands are low. Now, there, look where his hand, look how tight his body is. I'm not, I can't pull his, pull his arm out. No, because after he do this, he's gonna be so angry, he's gonna rush at me with his body and stop punching or trying to take me down. But I tell you what will stop forward movement. Very slow, Kenny. Please close your eyes. Okay? Watch this. Because his eyes closed. I'm putting my thumb there. Kenny, walk forward. Walk forward. Do, do you feel comfortable doing that? No, of course not. Not at all. Not at all. So that little eye press will stop forward movement. And that's painful. Even though you weren't doing, wasn't even doing it, it's still very it's painful. It's painful because your eyes are not designed to get touched. They're not designed to be poked. Okay? The second you poke an eye, uncomfortable feeling, shoots right into the brain, hand goes up, all of the groin is open, the kneecaps is open, the shins are open, and you have a limb and you have a limb to work with. 
Our favorite thing is the very simple thing. Once you see this configuration, left or right side, it is, it's either right to left or it's either left to right. Download Jimmy! And then you begin to break the man down. That is why it's important for you to understand vision, breathing, and balance. Sometimes you might have to do it in a different configuration. That's okay. But if possible, Always start from a non-threatening manner. Always try to shut this man's adrenaline down a little bit by seem like you're complying. What do I do? If he's yelling and you're yelling, don't work. If he's yelling hard Yo, at you... Yo, what's your problem, man? Huh? So calm down, don't bro. tell me to calm down. Calm down bro. I don't want to hear what? that, man. Just you, Yo, you stay calm. Because he sees that your pitch come up. Oh, now it's on. It's like... Yo, yo, come on, come on, man. What did I do? What did I do? And that will get you... Yo, what's your problem, huh? That will get you the opportunity to get your vision. Trust me. It will get you the opportunity to get your vision. You'll get it in there. You'll get it in there. Man, I've been in a lot of situations. I've seen a lot of situations. How many times have you seen people without no thought? Yo, man. Yo. Say that again. Right in someone's face. Nobody does this. Nobody goes. No, they don't blind themselves. They don't cover their eyes. They don't care. They just walk right up because they don't fear you. And you need to understand that. That is a very important part of personal protection and self-defense. If a person comes up into your three-foot rule, into your space, if they walk up like this, they don't fear you. Right. And they will put themselves in harm's way. They don't fear you. So as soon as they do that, Kenny just told you one thing that makes absolute sense. You need to remember that guess what? Instead of saying to yourself, when this man walk up- Yo, what's your problem? What, what? Oh, oh my God, man, this guy's angry. He's tough, he's strong. Man, he's pissed off. Look, he wants to hurt me. Instead of thinking like that, you need to say to yourself, Damn, man, this guy just put himself in harm's way. He don't care about himself. He's talking to yo, me. Yo, what, what, what? But your mind is saying, he don't care about himself. He's in harm's way. Oh, he broke the three-foot rule. Oh, he think I'm soft. Oh, he don't fear me. Oh, that's okay. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to do this and give him an opportunity now that, to apply. He can move faster forward than I can move backwards. I'm just going to be startled. Like, hey. And the most famous thing that guys do Boom! Push you. Now, let me ask you a question. Why do most people push you first before they punch you? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. And the guys that are going to punch you, you'll see this. They're coming at you like this. They got their hand clenched. So they're already ready to punch you. So you are telegraphing from back there. They're walking up to you like this. So you already see it coming. And even then, if you understand, don't block the punch. I could move faster forward than he could move back. When that punch is cut, touch! So I'm going here, here. I'm not going here, here. I'm going here, here. And then that gives me three for one as opposed to just try to block one. That's why, guys, you need to watch our videos. You need to pay attention to what we're trying to teach you. We're the only person, person out there, the only group that's out there, Vianna's just a, that's really trying to give you useful information and not put fantasy in your head, okay? Because I got a video coming up that you're gonna love. You're gonna love it, why? Because what do you do when you don't know how to fight? Watch the video. Kenny, tell them what Stay tuned, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Turn on notifications. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.